receipts. When I came with the receipts, what did I hear? Crickets. <laughs> it got real quiet all of a sudden. Now you have people that's in their feeling. So it's 902. That's 20 flip six on the knock to a knockback of a crossroads flip off of a Mother Margaret Boutte, uh, Big Mama, match Big Mama off Mother Margaret Waterford on the zigzag zig flip on uh, my clan, match your clan. <clears throat> so special honors out to the um, C Nation. Um, and also, uh, uh, shouts out to the rolling 60s, the rolling 20s, Sanyuka Shakur, aka Monster Cody. Um, this is a crooked man message on the C Nation off of a knock to a knockback on the zigzag zig across the land. The red flip the blue, the blue flip the red on the red knock to the knockback off the blue on the SOS's flip the queens off the five to flip the uh matriarchy the ball so now that i said all that i could do my um, introductions i mean my uh, invitations <clears throat> and what all of that meant was this is a special message from um nipsey grandmother so i got a channeled message from her and she told me to fuck teaching sex education, if they keep fucking, they gonna get good at that anyway. What they need is relationship education. She say, cause if you know how to have a relationship versus um, a power struggle, y'all can find the harmony and the harmony is the key to life. So, um, how y'all doing? All y'all up in here. So <clears throat> she wanted me to shout out to C Nation for protecting her boy Nip in the streets, especially Big U, um, Cowboy, um, the whole team that made sure that Nip was covered at all times, right? So rather than go into um, the Nipsey Hustle situation, <laughs> She said relationship education. And it's funny because a friend of mine called me um, and asked me about relationship information. <laughs> and I was like, damn, there's nobody in, um, and when you're young, like growing up, they teach you how to fuck. They call it sex education. But they don't teach you how to communicate with your partner. They don't teach you how to manifest with your partner by y'all observing the current situation and plotting the path to y'all best life. Um, everybody got a different understanding of their best life. But when two people work together, is you trim off the fat and y'all keep the meat. And you use the fat for fertilizer, right? And seasoning to cook the meat. So when you um, talking about relationship dynamics, we're talking about <clears throat> when we talk about relationship um, uh, information. If you don't be on a path of self discovery to the point where you go into the self help section of the bookstores to look for information on how to have a functional relationship because you realize that whatever the fuck they did to us over the last 500 years of this protracted struggle, because it's been 500 years, 1492 to 1992, plus another 30, right? So that's 430 years, right? So it's been 400 and motherfucking, uh, no, 530 years that these motherfuckers has been at war with the people of the land. And the problem was, is they harsh treatment, mistreatment of us, they miseducation of us, and they writing the history and changing the faces of the characters in the history books kept us perpetually confused. Nobody couldn't figure out why this shit not making sense in this thing called life. Relationships is what they don't want us to have, right? I don't give a fuck what color your skin is. 
They don't want us having functional relationships. When you have functional relationships, you build partnerships and partnerships build strong families and strong families build strong people. The strong people not going to tolerate the bullshit when they understand that they the people of the land. This the land of the free, the home of the brave. They said that this was the land of the no, the, the land of the savage and the home of the slave. But we're not doing that bullshit. We're not falling for the banana in the tailpipe no more. <clears throat> so you tell me they got 5,000 year old ships from Egypt. These motherfuckers got 10,000 year old ships from traded with China in the Pacific, but they ain't got no slave ship. They got to make replicas. Make this shit make sense. They got to have one of the motherfuckers somewhere, right? But the pattern that they lay out and call a slave ship is an overlay of Notre Dame University. Because that's where <clears throat> the dirty plots was hatching academia. Miseducation of the Negro. Deliberately miseducate the people so they can never properly function. L. Ron Hubbard say in the Dianetics that it's the same is trying to do a math calculation on the calculator, doing a math calculation on the calculator while you're um, holding down a button, another number. So if you want three times three, you're not going to never get the right answer <clears throat> if your left index finger is holding down the seven and then you type in three times three and hit equal, it's not going to give you a competent number. It's not going to be able to function. It's going to not compute, right? It's not compute. It don't compute. It's going in the brain wrong. That's how we know that um, some of us are some go along to get along ass motherfuckers because the, um, the way the system is designed to undermine the building um, of families and strong family bonds and binds and unity between different families in order to build communities. This is the basic of the community of the organic people of this land. <clears throat> so the um, building of the community comes with the leaders of the families all having a, what we call a town hall meeting. That's an old native tradition of the organic people of the land to bring the elders in the community together at the town hall meeting to discuss the needs of the youth in the community in order to turn out the best possible child for to the future development of the community. So this is why they say it takes a village to raise a child because everybody in the village have children. Common denominator. If we all got children, if I don't want nobody to mistreat my child, then I can't let nobody mistreat yours and, and, and unless I expect you to ignore somebody to mistreat mine. And that's not how it works when those family binds and ties is built. When you grow up with groups of people and y'all build binds like, hey, I ain't seen you in years, though. How you doing? Tell me about the family. What's been going on over time? Y'all still got that genuine concern for one another. That's an old tie. Right. And that carries weight in the development and the weaving together of a strong culture in, in any community. And these all start with the root, with the relationship. The science of the relationship, it ain't for the man to dominate the woman. It's for him to help to focus her vision and his vision into one vision for both of them to have their best life scenario. The two together, positive and negative, masculine and feminine, is the batteries to the remote control. The manifestation process is the remote control. If they both is inserted into the remote control in the proper direction, then you get the proper frequency and current to be able to change the channel on the reality you create for your best life. The higher you can understand it, the higher your best life turns out to be built. That's why you got that's why you got billionaires and then you got paupers. Oppression is atmospheric. The person who doesn't have a life plan has a plan to fail life, right? But you really can't fail. All you need to do is where your ancestors fucked up. You just want to, you know, do the best you can to bump straight 
and not follow the energy of the negative ancestors so that the good ancestors can in your family tree can put them back in land and therefore you can be the best fruit that fall from that tree it's a process of self-development and shadow work that's the part that nobody want to do <clears throat> shadow work also comes with learning psychic self-defense Psychic self-defense is also building up of the spirit body so they can withstand spiritually negative attacks. A spiritual negative attack is saying it can be something as simple as a negative thought directed at you based on a prejudice or a preconceived notion of who this person feel like you are versus who you really are, a misjudgment. That negative energy contributes to your ego self. And your ego self, in turn, seeks the hedonistic desire to re to gratify itself. And when somebody challenges the ego, the ego's first response is to defend itself because it want to survive just like we do. But your ego is the sum total of the ideas of the people around you. They gave a perception of you, how they see you, to you, and built your ego for you. It's up to you to say, okay, I accept this part of my ego, but I don't accept that part. That got to go because that right there don't serve my highest good. Just the shadow work, you know, reorganizing the, the negative traits in humans that allow them to mistreat other humans, right? So you don't want to be a cannibal. So why would you allow cannibals to continue to eat people, Right. You don't think pedophilia is right, but we don't say enough to stop it. We don't put an end to it by properly rearing children, by protecting them and keeping them from being abusers because hurt people hurt people. And when you hurt people in a certain way, that's the same way they hurt other people. And that's what makes the generational curses perpetual. The building of a strong family bond is giving everybody their tools that they need to develop their own best life scenario in their life. Once you do that, you become the great facilitator of good things because now you understand that the uh, 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 I don't know what this damn thing doing, but I need to figure out how to. Okay, so they fucked up our families. So it's up to us to put it together, put it back together. We can't expect none of the adversaries, the ones who miseducated us, the ones who kept their foot on our neck, the ones who tried to replace us. We can't never expect them to teach us proper leadership skills and proper family building skills so we have to go into our culture and figure out how to take those best training tools that we learn from our parents and pass that on so that you have an actual viable understanding of relationship and relationship development and how to build strong bonds between yourself and others and um, you learn this if you are a single child you don't get the same luxury of having siblings to grow up with where you have to share things right where one of y'all get to be the hand-me-down recipient while the rest of them be able to get the original product right because y'all growing at a different rate they differ a little older than you right <clears throat> so when um you start to put relationship matters um out of the picture of community development, then the relationships start to suffer because nobody is understanding the functional nature of the relationship and the balancing of the energies between the two, right? So my pet peeve is I don't tolerate no bitches. I don't want to hear that shit. We can talk about anything under the sun, but don't that nagging, bitching, incessantly shit. I'm done. I don't do that shit. So, and that's one of the first prerequisites that I put on the table is as long as you don't do that, you ain't gonna have no problem out of me because that's where my peace is at. And you can't never be at peace if your 
counterpart is constantly bitching about every little thing under the sun that really don't matter um, because now you can't relax at home. You stay on edge. So now you don't even want to be a fucking home no more. I, that ain't the kind of environment that I think is functional for the development and the rearing and raising the children. Because if the man is so miserable being at home that he stays out, that's, um, is it back on? Can somebody tell me if this thing is working right now? Can y'all hear me? Am I frozen or am I just being still? Um, I don't know. Because I was looking in the camera to see what was up. Can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me. Because if somebody, if y'all can hear and see me clearly talking and I'm moving, press one. If y'all can't, press six. So, that's how we gonna do this. Cause I also have to give the report, the update on Haiti and the closing of the um, conjure. This is a really a big deal. This shit is amazing to me because to see it and see what's taking place in real time. That shit is amazing. It's like uh, be, being being bedazzled um, by um, shiny shit. That same kind of um, that same kind of energy. Like when the little kid see somebody do something that's to them amazing that on awe, awe inspiring energy that shit so um Haiti um we found everybody the two priestesses the bookman um two son divine insight and um John Dessalines. So all of the pieces is in play. Now watch Haiti because as soon as that message get to the key people that it need to get to and they do the Oshun ritual, all them people down there gonna turn into the Haitian ass kissing forces. Yeah, I'm not sure. That I'm having uh, technical difficulties. If this one started doing what the other one did, I'm just going to come back on later or tomorrow. Because I'm supposed to be on the phone with Daniel, but I had to do this live because I had to get this information out before too late. So the guy that's the leader of the current um, situation in Haiti, they call him Barbecue, ex-police officer who became a freedom fighter when he realized that something wasn't right. Now, y'all need to pay attention to something. They call in the people that's leading the foot soldiers in Haiti, the people of Haiti, gang leaders. 
and they saying that they need outside forces to come in and put down the gang leaders. Don't that sound familiar? They want to use force, military strength to overthrow the 